today, I think I want to get started on a little bit of a quarry. I know that this guy over here is doing a little bit of quarrying himself or herself. I think she's actually the one mining. Um, doing an okay job, I guess. Really slow though. Like this is like super slow. Um, I have a house to live in. It's getting very upset. I will work on it. Yeah, I, I haven't provided a place for this this person to sleep. Uh, but anyways. Yeah, definitely collecting a little bit of materials. Nothing great. So what I want to do is definitely set up my own quarry. And that's going to be kind of fun because I want to use build craft. And if you don't know what build craft is, man, it is old school fun. Uh, definitely. So what am I going to need? Well, I thought I was going to need some combustion engines, but I'm not. I'm going to make a pretty slow quarry. It's going to get the job done, but it, we're going to need to look at build craft. And uh, Buildcraft definitely has the quarry. And then for the engine, we're going to use Sterling engines. It's just going to be coal that's going in it, and that's going to power it, right? And then we need some sort of piping to get it out. Now, I could just use Buildcraft pipes, and I probably should. It's going to be fun to do that. So we need wooden transport pipes, and then probably, I would say, iron level to get it out and into an inventory as fast as possible. Um, so let's go ahead and work on that. We're also gonna need a crate, right? Um, and I actually wanna upgrade to this crate. So if we start in this one, so hopefully we have enough materials. Wow, I'm literally lacking on sticks. No way, apparently so. Um, so I need just a bit of sticks. There we go. And then what I need is coal. And I might as well do it in block form. We need four blocks of coal. Just toss it right here. And this will give us like the perfect storage for this, right? It'll give us a double storage, which will be more than what we need for everything. So I can go ahead and make the quarry. And now I just need to make these, which I mean, I think I'm going to do Four of them, I think is it it's it might be three that I can get on there. We'll try four. I think four I can potentially do. We'll find out. Um so yeah, I definitely need some more sticks probably. Oh yeah. <laughs> Seems like always the simple materials is the ones like the, the simple materials is always what I run out of the most. Luckily to get a little quarry like this set up, it's really not gonna take too much to do. Um however, I do want to do it in a place that's not too close to our base maybe a little ways away as this thing just destroys landmass and i do need a lot of the area that i'm working with right now i need a lot of it to be used for the mine colonies so i think an area right over here is probably going to be more than enough i'm not going to do a huge one i'm going to kind of stick small for right now just to kind of just get some basic resources so I think this area is actually going to work just fine. Okay, so I'm going to set the quarry down just like this. And you know what? By default, its base area is probably going to be just just fine. I was I was wondering if it was going to do that. Yeah, its base area is actually going to be just fine. If you want to change it, you can use uh, markers and you basically set your markers up and then you place the quarry next to it and the quarry will recognize the markers and vice versa. But I'm actually going to just leave it where it is. I think it's gonna work just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and place these all on the sides. And I'm also gonna place one down in the bottom. I don't actually have a normal shovel, so I just have to, you just have to bear with me. I'm gonna place one on the bottom. And I should just be able to access this like so. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw coal in all of these. And I think the one thing I forgot was a lever because I need a lever to turn them on. How fun. Anyways, let's just go ahead and set our chest out here. I'm going to place the wooden transport pipe. I think you need a wooden transport pipe right here. And then I can go ahead and extend this like so. You know what? Just for the lulls, let's make it nice and tall. So we can see all the items going through. Because, I mean, that's the fun part about using Buildcraft Pipe. So now that I have the levers, this should hopefully work. Place that. That'll turn that one on. That'll turn this one on. Technically, that will turn this one on. 
And there we go. With all these working, it is using up the coal, creating some uh, joules per second, and thus building the frame and clearing things out. And this is going to be the default size for this quarry. I'm super excited. This is actually, we should hopefully see this working. I'm hoping I don't need anything for this pipe. If so, I will just shut this off, shut all of the engines off. It will take a second, but I, th I don't think this actually needs a pump. I think this automatically pushes the items in. We're about to find out though, because it's about to mine its first item. So yes, it does not need a pipe, uh, a redstone uh, pipe on here because it will automatically go. Now it is running into an issue here where it's backing up and not going into this inventory. You know what? Let's break all this. We might just try using straight pipes here. Do, is iron transport pipes something weird about them? There might be something weird about iron transport pipes. Uh, let's turn this off and try something else. Oh boy. <laughs> Before this gets out of hand and we just have too much going on. So yes, I'm a total derp because iron transport pipes route items and are not a speedy way of uh, yeah, sending items. It's like the same as this, like the extraction pipe. This one routes items, sends it different directions. This speeds up items, which is the gold ones, which is what I just made. And that's the one I actually want is the gold pipes. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I should have made gold. I just totally, I was like, oh, maybe I don't have enough gold. I totally have enough gold. All right, let's hope this actually works. Otherwise it's gonna make me look totally goofy. And flip this all on. Now we should start seeing the items. There we go, zoom into the chest. Perfect, just like I wanted. How perfect is that? And I'm pretty sure this won't build up and start spewing out, I, at least I hope not. And yeah, we're gonna start getting this, and this is like too wide. There's, th yeah, this, pretty much everything in this should not fill this up. Either way, it gives us a ton of materials, it's gonna give us a ton of cobblestone, it's gonna give us a ton of this things that we're gonna need all around. And hopefully this coal ends up lasting a good amount of time. I hope so. It does seem to be doing a pretty, pretty darn good job. And it's going at a de decent pace. So I hope I have enough for this glider while I'm letting my quarry do its thing. Yeah, we need to go hunting a little bit. Oh man, we need to go hunting for sure. Um, or some leather. That is something we gotta do. Um, so. Um, some things that leather is useful for in this pack. Well, backpacks are super great. That is one thing that we could definitely use leather for. Um, and then also this glider. This glider is going to be probably the best way to travel for at least a little while until we get enough wool and string and stuff. What is that in the water? Oh, it's a frog. I keep seeing the frog. Oh, I love how it gives you a farewell message whenever you leave the little town you leave your little village. Okay. So I'm on the, I'm on the hunt for cows. If I see anything interesting, of course, I'm going to let you guys see like, what is this? It's a random furnace with coal in it. What? So if you come across, um, while you're journeying, if you come across a circle of flowers like this and you dig straight down as much as I say, don't do that. Yeah. Well, this is totally a bad idea mining like this. Um, but yeah, if you mine straight down, guaranteed you're going to find a pretty large vein of diamonds. Um, so I recommend, like, I don't have any torches on me. But still, like, if you mine down like this, in this sort of pattern, like a 2x2, two two, eventually when you get to the bottom, you should find, well, if not gold. Well, I'm completely out of resources as well. Anyways, I'm going to come back to this, and then I'm going to show you guys what I was meaning. So this, this flower section has turned out to be just insane. Already a monster spawner. Wow. Okay. Um, that doesn't get any better. So we also found a monster spawner down here. 
we want to get rid of it. You guys may think it, it could be used as a, you know something that I I would really like, but I don't know. As of right now, there's nothing that great that's going to come out of that. Um, so did we get anything great? I'm going to take the bread and the bones and the gold and quartz. I'll take the bat in a bucket. Everything. Oh, conduit probes actually really nice. I don't have to worry about making those later. And gunpowder. And dark steel. I'll take that too. Well, well, yeah, our inventory is pretty much full now. I still need to mine down though, because we are about to hit the level where we should find a lot of diamond. I mean, we're actually really close, really close. And so far, oh yeah, there's the lava. So this might actually pose an issue because of the type of world generation that is in this pack. This wasn't, this might cause an issue with this particular type of generation doesn't mean that there's not anything down here there might still be like there totally might still be some diamond down here let's I'm gonna continue to mine this I actually want to, to have this area filled out too okay might still run into lava. Hopefully not. We're at Y level 7. So yeah, I, th I think that the world generation just kind of broke that area. Normally what you would find though is you would find quite a bit of diamond potentially. Just not in this case. And I don't want to mine this just because of the lava. That would just be a nightmare. So I was kind of expecting to get all the leather and yeah, get, get myself going. What is this guy? Bound soul. Oh, there's another guy here too. Um, so yeah, I was sort of expecting to just, you know, go about my business and, and vice versa. And, uh, but I found this. So I'm definitely going to take this ladder down. Maybe. Uh, my inventory is kind of crazy right now. Let's see what this has to offer wait whoa, whoa, whoa there was stuff mining oh oh no 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 not ready uh-uh I'm out I'm out not ready for no dragon oh no 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 that's a high tier dragon about to break its way up out of here Oh, I'm out. Holy moly. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Yeah, we're going back. Oh my gosh. Speaking of dragons. There's one right here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't have. Oh, what is that? Oh, no, no, no. I can't be in a desert right now. Oh, I'm glad I found one, but I can't be in here in the desert right now. There's going to be nasty mobs here. Oh, no. I totally, like, I, I had a, a false sense of security playing this pack. In my mind, thinking that ice and fire wasn't in here, but it seems like every mod pack... Oh, my gosh, that thing is gross. Is this thing even working? Oh man, yeah, I gave myself a false sense of security thinking that I was going to be fine in this mod pack. Oh yeah, I need to get away from here. I feel like I'm in the Tremors movie. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Is this good food? Is that like food or something? Oh no, no, no. I don't know how much damage that does. Is this good food? Oh no, it's used to make armor. Is it pretty decent armor? It is pretty decent armor. What about this? Same. White death worms. Oh 
my. Yeah. I think we should probably get out of here. Before I just completely get murdered by these things. It's not looking good. That one is absolute. That one's huge. Okay, yeah, I'm out. So there is one thing I absolutely forgot about in this pack, and that's inventory pets. Um, is this going to get me? I'm gonna back away just to make sure. Yes. Is it real? I never know. Yep, it's real. I'll back away. <laughs> it was the cow pet. I it didn't destroy it. Oddly enough. Um, let's get rid of the wheat. So we got our first inventory pet. Uh, but yeah, there's tons of them in the trees. Like, if you find an area like this, there's going to be, like, tons of them. And you can usually see them. Like, there's one right here. And the best way to go about uh, doing this is... Not by opening them, of course. That's going to just destroy it. I don't think I fully triggered it. So, I definitely need to just break it. It's usually the best way to go about this. Did I just get... A sun pet? Prevents nearby mobs. I just got a sun pet. That thing... Is overpowered. What does it eat? Gold ingots. Um... That's kind of cool, actually. We just... We just got a sun pet. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, we don't need to go by that. Stay away from this. Oh no, I don't think I'm ready for that. That is sort of like a mini boss from the wizards mod. And I don't think I'm ready. And that's a dragon. Oh man, I am, I am not ready for this. You know, maybe if I put the sun pet in my inventory. Oh. <gasps> Oh my gosh, is it picking it up? No. It's killing the cows. Oh no, 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 no dragon, no dragon, no, no, bad dragon, bad dragon, bad dragon. Turn it off. How do I turn it off? No. Wow. I think I picked the dragon up. That was unintentional. So this is not going to be fun, but I'm going to try it. Um, use this. All right. Um, my item, Sun Pet, you can stop now. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Let's get away from it. Uh, the Sun Pet is definitely... A little bit more powerful than I originally thought it was. Um, yeah, it really just picked up that dragon from such a long distance. I, I really need to figure out what exactly that sun pet does before I use it again because that was uh really bad. It literally picked up the dragon and brought it to me. So I, I'm near my base. I want to kind of take this a little bit further away. And I want to try this one more time because that was so cool what it did. I want to take it at least 256 blocks away because I don't know if it'll pick up squid and stuff out of the water. If it does, that would be really cool. But by default, it being in your inventory, it prevents mob spawns. But when we do this... Oh, it just picked them up and just starts killing them. And I'm guessing the items eventually come into my inventory? I don't know, but the music is very pretty. It says it eats gold nuggets. Or gold ingots, not nuggets. Gold ingots. There we go. Already back to full health. Like, I wonder how what it does, like, if you're in a, 
an area that doesn't have any trees. Yeah, it definitely spins items around you. That's so cool, though. Like, what a cool thing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, the poor sheep. At least it gives you cooked food. That is wicked. This pet is so powerful. And the fact that while it's in your hotbar, it prevents mobs from spawning? I need to test that out with it being nighttime. So I should have enough leather now to make the other wing. And then we combine these together. Right? Is it the glider? Oh, man. And yeah, once we have a glider, oh, man, our life is going to be so much nicer. Um, it is dark, and I wanted to test the mob spawn mechanic of this. It says it will prevent mobs from spawning. Like, I, of course, I don't see any mobs. It's getting is it dark. I feel like it's dark. It's like in the in-between. Oh, that's why. It looks like it's dark, but it's actually midday. There's an eclipse going on. How cool is that? So I wanted to go to the back area and just check on my quarry and just see how how things are going, how the quarry's running. Looks like it's running really good. It's definitely getting a lot of gold. There is a lot of gold I find in the surface, like pretty high up. Look, there's a gold right there. So gold is definitely not gonna be a problem. I think that was actually something that was fixed. Like gold ore spawn was uh, reduced in this future update. But of course I've already loaded these chunks, so. Um, it's been doing that, but I noticed one thing. I didn't actually force load these chunks and it's been running. So I, I think that it might be chunk loading itself. I'm pretty sure that it is because this area is of course not chunk loaded. Of course, I'm going to make sure it's chunk loaded, but, um, I'm pretty sure it's not, not chunk loaded. So that's actually kind of nice. What is this? A safe. Was that always here? Did I just stumble upon that again? I can't even, I can't do nothing with it. Huh, I need some kind of key or something to get that open. I didn't even know that was there. I completely looked over that. So I went ahead and made some uh, thermal machines. I made the redstone furnace and pulverizer. Just your basic thing. I did want to go out here while it was dark though and just test the ore spawn thing, like or the mob spawn. Does this prevent mob spawns? This is something that a mob spawns out of. I'm not seeing the mob. I do see mobs on the minimap though. Okay, so mobs are still spawning. Why is it showing like flowers, like love? What? That was kind of weird. So I want to go ahead and get the uh, thermal set up, uh, like just get it kind of automated here. And uh, I do need to kind of break through the back in order to just set this up. So I'm gonna place a thermal machine right here. So we're gonna have the pulverizer first. Just gonna place that there. And the redstone here, that's where the final product's gonna be. And uh, what I wanna do is just go ahead and hold down shift and click in the center. That's gonna clear all the configs right here so we don't have anything going in or out by default. Um, then I'm gonna go ahead and just get the lasers set up. Um, and I can probably set this one up here and here. And because this was our last connection, of course, I can just click this to the pulverizer and then the pulverizer to here. And we have a connection that is all going to be just hidden back here. Just like that. But they should be getting full power, as you can see. Perfect. Um, and last but not least, we do need some chests, just some plain Jane chest. I'm going to place one here that allows us to still access the battery charger back here and then one up here and just like that. That allows us to really get the automation started. So this is an input. This is going to be an output and divided with the bottom. So this is going to be an input one or output one and secondary output all going into this chest. This is going to be an input. I'm going to hit here. Allow input auto input from here. That is such a creepy sound. And then same on this one, auto input, and then we're going to export on this. So this allows us to take all of our ore that we have now and allows us to just automatically process it, which is super fantastic. Um, 
as soon as this lag spike. It, we get, I get lag spikes every now and then in really large mod packs. That's kind of one of the downsides with really large mod packs like, like this one. It just happens every now and then, and it's most likely um, just like a garbage collection dump uh, when your RAM basically is dumping excess memory. So I should be able to put that in there. That's going to start grinding things up, which is really good because you actually get a bonus whenever you do grind things up this way. And then it's going to go over here, and we're going to start getting the ingot form. And this almost basically just eliminates this process over here. Super fun. And uh, now we're getting into the industrial age, I think. I think we're starting to industrialize. So now that we have our glider, let's actually put this to the test. And wow, nice. So this allows us to get to our quarry really fast. And I can do one last check. Also, with using the open blocks glider, you can sometimes get caught up in a virtual draft, I guess you can call it, and it will actually lift you up. And uh, it can be really fun. Look at this, we're getting tons of resources. This is actually doing exact. Oh, there's a mine shaft down there. I was wondering where that like fence come from. There are straight up a mine shaft down there. We're going to have to potentially explore that. See, this is the things that this helps uncover. Oh, it even grabs the Thomcraft stuff. This makes life so much easier. Just having a little quarry just do it on its own. Um, even if it, when it, it picks up coal. I'm going to probably have the coal just, I'm just going to throw the coal that it j picks up, just throw it back in here. Really, really useful. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, you guys know what to do. Don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already and ring that beautiful notification bell so you stay notified when I publish new videos just like this. Also, click that sexy like button because I know you guys love to click it as much as, uh, man, we are, if we can get 3,000 likes on this, I'll be super excited. Um... We usually have been averaging like between like 1,000 to 2,000 likes on a video, which is absolutely insane to be just, just insane in general. And I really do appreciate all the amazing support. Guys, don't forget, I do have a Discord. Be sure to join that. All the links, beautiful links are down in the description below. I will see you in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.